Hi guys, it's quarter to three in the afternoon on Tuesday, what's today's date? The 17th. Bloody hell, we're halfway through May already? I swear, the older you get, the faster time goes. I swear. I'm sure time never flew like this when I was a kid. I'm sure the years didn't pass as fast as this when I was a kid. Am I the only one that thinks that? Anyway, um, I didn't really do a video yesterday, I couldn't be bothered in the end. I tried, but it was nothing was going to plan. <laughs> um, I've got my brother's PC laying up there, it doesn't matter what I've tried. It's a motherboard issue. I've checked the processor in another, mo in another motherboard. Um, works fine. The memory I've checked on mine works fine. Although I don't know why the 4 gig sticks don't because um, the 8 gigabyte stick is working fine. I've got one of those in there at the minute. Um, so depending on what my brother wants to do I may buy the 8 gig sticks from him um, and give him back the 4 gig to sell because for some reason they don't want to work on my PC. It made my PC do weird things. The, um, it just made it constantly seek the CD drive in it for some reason. But the 8 gig, which I've got on there at the moment, that's working fine. And I believe 8 gigabyte is the max for my motherboard, if memory serves correct. Um, I've just had a huge clean up and dismantled all those CD drives that I put on um, free cycle. No one wanted them. So if no one wants them for free, I ain't going to sell them, am I? <laughs> so I just took them apart and kept all the motors. In fact, that box there is um, full of uh, CD drive motors and whatnot. Um, here's the um, timer and setting thingy for the microwave that I had sitting in the kitchen for ages. I decided to dismantle that and chuck away what I don't want. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to keep any of it. But, uh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, got two bikes up for sale. One on Gumtree and eBay. I've put the men's mountain bike up on that and my kid's bike is up on Gumtree. Uh, which I might stick on eBay as well. <sighs> uh, I've, uh, what have I done today? I've been in the cupboard outside the front door. Not the one just, not the one just on the inside here. The one outside the front door where I keep all my, uh, wheels and tyres and other large bike parts and tubs of bike parts and whatnot. Because uh, I've been needing, well, I've got two bikes out front that need doing, but I can only do one at a time, so I've got to decide which one out of the two I want to do. Do I do the um, Apollo suspension bike or do I do the silver Salcano? The Salcano one to me looks better, so I think I'm leaning towards that. But the parts from the Apollo will fit on the Celcano easy peasy, so I'm pretty much a straight swap for parts. Um, but it's a cleaner frame and a nicer looking bike. Even the neighbour below me said it's quite a nice looking bike, so I'll get that one done. I'm going to have to change the um, brake cables on that, that's not a problem. And then the suspension bike I'll tuck up somewhere and that can be used as a future project. Needs a good clean from the ground up anyway, so... And it's got the brake cables and everything missing, so... I figured I might as well just fix the silver one. But I needed a front wheel. So... I had to go in this outside cupboard up here to get the front wheel, and I thought I might as well just have a sh shift around and a sort out, considering I'm uh, always in need of mountain bike tyres and wheels. Um, and not as much my um, racing bike wheels. So I had a swap round. I put all the racing bike wheels 
right at the back where most of my mountain bike wheels were because I don't use them it's rare that I'll use those because most of the bikes I get down the dump are um, mountain bikes and I basically just uh, pulled all my spare mountain bike wheels to the front so I kept one out for um, whichever bike I decide to do out front and some tyres um, I also found well actually I'll backtrack a little bit here before I get to that um, I sorted out that grey rally and swapped the gear shifters just for normal gear levers because I didn't have any grip shifts so. Um, so I've now got a nice set of 8 speed trigger shifters um, Put a seven speed wheel but when I was digging around in the cupboard I actually found I've got a choice I've got a black rim wheel um, that's got an eight speed cassette already on it it's good to go I would just have to take the tire and tube off this and put it on that or I found a standard looking Alloy wheel needs an 8 speed cassette put on it, but uh, I'm not sure what would look better in here. I'm not sure if black rims would be too much for this one as it's a black frame. I think what I'm gonna have to do is put the black rims in this because I know I've got a front one downstairs or in the giant bike actually because I don't need the black rim in the giant. Uh, and just see what it looks like with black rims in but to be honest this is actually looking quite nice with alloy rims in so um, might actually be inclined to use the alloy one all I've got to do is go in my box of um, free wheels and cassettes and pull out the, an 8 speed one and bolt it to the bloody hub I don't know why it hasn't got one on it maybe I took it off for some reason I don't know and then take the tire and tube off of this and throw it in there and uh, get a matching rim because this has got the um, what do they call it the deeper rims which I have to say do look nice on this uh, but I'm sure I could I could actually put those on my giant actually they would look nice on them not the tires though I've got a pair of tires to put on my giant but uh, I think once I get a chain on this, the wheels that I want sorted onto this. Actually, actually, yeah, I have got all the parts now to finish this. I'm just missing cables. Actually, no, I've got a front brake cable. It should be laying somewhere around here. If it's not in the box, it's close by. Because it's got all the brake noodle and everything still attached. So that, nope. Yeah, it's somewhere up here. I deliberately kept it like that for this bike. I know I've got another good clean brake noodle for the rear, so I'll just have to buy cables. Probably three cables. That's two or six pounds worth of cables I'll need. In a lot, really. <clears throat> uh, the giant will be done as well. Uh, I'm not sure when. Oh, I'm going to need some handlebar grips for that one as well. They're only like 2 dollars so I'll grab a pair of those next time I get paid. So I don't know if I'm going to be buying a motherboard for this yet. I don't know what my brother wants to do. Um, either way, at the moment as it stands, I'd buy these ones off him if he did decide to sell them. Because I could just say, you know, go on eBay and you can get... They sell them as kits. You can get the RAM and the processor all on the motherboard. So he could, in essence, um, take the four gigs back because I can't get it working. Um, I know they work. It's just my PC don't like them for some reason. 
But I know um, computers can be a bit like that. I can get a bit temperamental with the old memory. Um, yeah, anyway. He could take those back, put those back on Gumtree for like 30, 40 quid and get most of his money back, actually. <clears throat> um, and obviously, I'd pay him for these ones as well, so he might actually be able to make a profit on them. And, uh, and put it towards another motherboard. I'll have a word with him. if I'm, I might message him when he gets home later, because what's today, Tuesday? No, he might be at college. If he's decided to go. <laughs> yeah, that's two bucks I've got to decide what to do. Well, I was going to fix them today, but I thought by the time I'd faffed around in that, that outside cupboard, because it needed a good sort out anyway, ideally so does my shed downstairs, because I've got wheels and shit down there. I can't remember what I've got. I'd actually forgotten I had most of those wheels. I thought I was getting low on wheels, but nope. Excuse me. I had to clear up on my desks there. I've put my video card back in that one. I borrowed out of that to try this. What it does, it seems to boot up, you know. You see the lights flash on the keyboard. So you, I know it's seeking keyboard. I see the CD drive power up, you know, the little green LED light flash, telling me it's seeking all the devices that are connected. So I know that the RAM and the processor on this is working because if it wasn't it wouldn't be doing that. I also hear the hard drive start up and like I said if the RAM or the processor are not working you don't hear nothing like that, it's just completely dead. The only thing you'll see operating are the fans. So um, yeah, there's my old memory in there which I'll definitely keep hold of as spare. It's tempting to sell it for a bit of cash but they're only two gigabyte each. For some reason, I thought I had a four gigabyte stick in there. <sighs> yeah, it's not lost calls. It's just I understand why he's a bit pissed. You know, he spends all that RAM thinking that's all we need, only to find that the fucking motherboard is not wanting to play ball. But the only thing I can think of is that perhaps the onboard video has failed for some reason. Maybe the main... I don't know if that's where the um, video chip is going to be. But maybe the main chip has been fried. Because I don't get no video out of this either. It's just... it's dead. <laughs> um, the poor, ass, poor bugger asked me if there was anything that could be done. I'm like, nope. Both options do not want to work. Usually if I find that if the onboard video fails, you can still use um, a video slot, but this isn't working for some reason. And I've you know, had the battery out and the power plug out to try and reset the BIOS to see if that was the issue. Uh, I've even done a clock RAM reset as well with that jumper, because I've got the booklet for this motherboard. But, uh, no, does not want to play, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because it's not a bad brand of motherboard, it's an Asus. Mind you, I'd prefer either Gigabyte or Foxconn. Um, probably Foxconn. <laughs> because I had a Windows XP machine for years running as much, if not more, as my Windows 10 here and that motherboard never died. In fact, when I stopped using the XP, the motherboard was still working fine and one of the tabs had broken off for the memory memory slot and um, it still worked. <laughs> um, in my experience, Foxconns are um, pretty good memory um, motherboards, not memory boards. That kid squealing distracted me because I thought my, I heard a car as well, so I was just worried that a car may have hit a kid or something. Right. I keep throwing crap away. 
to make room, you know, stuff that doesn't work, stuff I don't use, stuff of no monetary value to be worth selling either, and I still don't look like I've got any room. <laughs> I can't win. Oh well. There's a gigabyte board with an Intel processor slot. I'm sticking Intel processors back in. Because I forgot my brother's was AMD, not Intel. Derp. So um, I don't want the socket pins to get bent, so I'll put the Intel processors back in that. What are you up to, boss? Right. Num, 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 num. Mum bought me a sausage and onion pie she made last night. Pretty much the whole thing. There was just the slice that Mum had missing. Because uh, my brother was is the only one that'll eat a short crust pie. My stepdad doesn't like short crust. It's got to be puff pastry. And <laughs> so basically no one else wanted it except Mum. And <laughs> So she bought me the rest, so I've sort of eaten it for breakfast and lunch, because stuff like that doesn't tend to keep. Oh. Really, so far, apart from sorting out my cupboard out there, I haven't actually done a lot. I'm tempted to take my ladder downstairs and uh, tackle that shed and see if I can get things stacked in there a bit better. Oh yeah. Governor Wolf decrees all public restrooms transgender friendly. Well, I can't remember if I've talked about this in previous videos, but I don't understand why we've always had to have male, female separate toilets. Why don't we just do what my local little store has done when they rebuilt the store. They rebuilt the store last year. I think it opened about a year ago, so it is almost a year ago it reopened. Uh, July, I think, June. Somewhere around, about a year ago it reopened anyway. And uh, they included a toilet this time, public toilet. But all it is, is basically a room about half the size of this lounge actually um, with a toilet in it and it's also got baby changing table on it it's also got all the disabled help pull cords and handles and things for it so it's just basically one big room with a toilet in it the baby changing facility in it and that's about it and obviously it's got to be big so people in wheelchairs can move around um, so basically if the door's locked you can't use it <laughs> you know there's no men's or women's it's just the one toilet and uh, like I said if the door's locked tough <laughs> you, you got to wait or find another one somewhere um, but I did a similar thing with our um, public toilets over in the car park on the way at Sainsbury's um, yes, there's a disabled one right at one end, right in front of the ramp actually, so disabled people on wheelchairs or mobility scooters can just uh, go straight up the ramp to the disabled toilet. Then next to that there is a gents only cubicle, because um, this is all it is, it's just basically cubicles. So you know, there's no loo in it. A man can just stand in there and do take a piss and that's it. And then I think the other three or four, can't remember, are um, universal, men and women. Because uh, quite frankly, if someone's in them, you can't use them because the door's locked. <coughs> and I don't see why more places like pubs, hospitals, 
supermarkets and everywhere else that supply um, <coughs> or provide customer toilets don't do the same thing what I've always done the men and the women so just one unisex toilet you, there's no arguments is there no perverts can get in to get after your little daughter your little girl can they because if she goes in and locks the door behind her no one else can get in to get to her <laughs> So it eliminates that risk, it eliminates the argument on which one transgender people should use. Oh, that actually reminds me as well. The car boots, I haven't actually been to one yet this year, but uh, the car boots I usually go to, they have um, port loos or I think you Americans would call them porta potties, poor johns, that sort of thing. And they have like two or three lined up at each of the car boot sites that this one guy actually runs. And he actually has gender signs on the toilets. And I'm thinking, why? No one else can get into them, you know, because they are only designed for one person at a time. So why bother when one comes free, jump in it? <laughs> Why have the um, male and female gender labels? Uh, I don't know. It's all bollocks for people to whinge about, in my opinion. Even Facebook's been relatively quiet. <laughs> That's actually pretty true, that one. Being famous on Facebook is like being rich on Monopoly. It's not real, so calm down. <laughs> I don't know, though. Because you could say the same with YouTube, but... People become well-known. I mean, just because they may not be on mainstream TV, to me, doesn't mean they're not famous. You know, they may, not, they may not be nationally famous, you know, well-known nationwide or internationally, but they're famous locally, or famous on a social media, you know. They're still famous somewhere, even if it isn't mainstream. Anyway, I think I've rattled on enough for now, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Might go downstairs and s start tackling that shed. <laughs> if I pluck up the um, get up and go to go and do it, even though my get up and go got up and went yesterday. And got up and went without me. <coughs> anyway, talk to you later. I've got no idea what his problem is at the minute. He's just running around meowing. I think he's got food in his dish, so maybe he just wants attention. <laughs> uh, oh, pardon me. That's the coke. <laughs> well, there's the salcano. So, uh, try again. The salcano. Salcano? Cano? I don't know. It's even got a website on it. S A L C A N O. Um, there's a bit of a story behind this one. I found this abandoned skate park in town. It, it didn't even have these on. <laughs> and that had no gears either. It was just two wheels, a chain, and that was it <laughs> on the frame. <laughs> no gears. No gear shifters. I think it had the brake levers, if I remember rightly. Or did it have gear shifters? I can't remember now. Anyway, I fixed it up. No, it's a good couple of years ago I got this one. Two or three years ago. 
yeah, two or three years ago because uh, I was using it myself to tow trailers. And I may keep it for that purpose again and blow off some wind. <laughs> um, but the front forks were knackered, so I threw those yellow ones in. Um, I needed some money, I think, about a year ago, so I just stuck it up for sale and sold it to a guy who lives in town. Uh, that was a few months ago. He had it stolen from his house. I've, I've, I've told you this in previous videos. And then my friend went and found it dumped near his house, spoke to the guy. The guy didn't want it back because he was going to buy another one off me anyway, which he's done. He's now got a rally. <coughs> And my friend just wanted the wheels out of it and gave me the rest of it, so I salvaged a couple of parts to go on my um, Claude. If, 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 I can't talk tonight. Jesus. Ugh. Should we try again? If you noticed, I've put the seat and post from the Claude on this one. Because the one that was laying somewhere down there is in here. But that seat post will not go all the way in. It catches on something. There's something in that frame that it's catching on. So easiest answer is just to take my hacksaw to it and just cut a couple of inches off. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah. That's my answer to that one. Um, I didn't tell you, did I, in the last video? I've got some wheel options for this. Because uh, I was sorting the outside cupboard out earlier. And uh, I found some... Um, well, I found an 8-speed wheel. Or wheel with an 8-speed cassette on it with um, a black rim. So I could put black wheels in this because I found a front one as well. And I've got front one downstairs, so... Um, or I found another back wheel that takes cassette, not free wheel like this one, there is a difference. I've done a video on them and there's videos on YouTube for those that don't know what the difference is. But yeah, anyway, it needs an 8-speed cassette put on it, which I've got. I've got several sets like that, actually. Um, as just a standard alloy rim. Uh... Now, I'm actually thinking black might be a bit too much for this frame because the frame's already black. So is the stem, so is the handlebar. So, I think I'm going to opt for the alloy, just the standard silver alloy rims to put in this. These ones I'm going to put in my Giant, which is out on the landing. Because um, this is a nice pair. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but before I start work on the giant, I'm going to sort this one out. Um, what I did in my cupboard, I can't remember if I mentioned this or talked about it in the first part of this video. I just pulled all my mountain bike wheels to the front of the cupboard because they were all stacked right at the back. Which meant every time I needed one, I had to empty half the cupboard out just to get to them. And all the wheels I had at the front were um, racing bike wheels, etc which uh, I don't use very often, so it's, they're one of the parts I keep but I rarely use, so I basically pulled all the mountain bike wheels out, stuffed the 700 size wheels right to the back where the mountain bike wheels were, um, and any mountain bike wheels that I know I don't use a lot of, such as the ones with um, a disc brake attached, I don't use those very often either. Plus the spare from set for my other Claude Butler. I stuck that to the back of the cupboard as well. Um, and then just stacked all the others right at the front. Uh, so I've got another front wheel for the bike in there. Uh, I'm going to finish it off tomorrow. I've pumped the tyres up. Because both those wheels came off the blue and silver Apollo suspension bike out front but you can see why I need to swap the front one. <laughs> I just bought the wheel up here so I could pump the tyre up and uh, 
Well, as long as they don't go down overnight, I'll swap the tyres in the morning. Apart from that front tyre, I've got one on this wheel. This is the wheel that's going in, because that's a seven speed. That's a six speed, so, you know, instead of swap three wheels, I'm just going to take the tyre and tube from that, put on there, and put that tyre on the front wheel, which I've got. I think it's sitting outside the front door, actually. <laughs> I believe it's where I put it. Quick release front wheel, so it won't be long before this one is actually done up. I could actually sell it, to be honest, because I don't really need it, come to think of it. If I really wanted to tow my trailer out front, it, the hitch will attach to my jong. Um, or I could just find another one at the dump. <laughs> or I could just build the blue suspension bike up and have a nice suspension bike to tow the trailer with. Because um, that's got the correct fitting. Because I need, ideally, I need this type of um, dropout. Reason being, where my hitch bolts to that, if I have the type, you know, the slotted type, um, the hitch tends to slide. Uh, unless I use special washers with teeth on between the hitch and the frame first, that's the only way I've been able to do it, and even then, it still slides when I pedal. That's why I don't use that style of frame. It's got to be the um, type where you just drop the wheel straight in. Which I actually prefer because you haven't got to piss around making sure your wheel is in straight. <laughs> you can just drop the wheel straight in because it's sort of like pre-set up for you. So yeah, I'm going to put some brake pads back in there. I've done it again. I've called them brake pads. They're brake blocks. Hey, every time. I've got to change this cable. Only because I've left it hanging around and it's just frayed. So I've got plenty of. S I couldn't do that again, could I? <laughs> that was a good trick. Yeah, it's easy enough on these shifters to uh, switch it. I'm going to adjust that because that shouldn't be at that angle. Uh, change the brake cables. Only because they've seized where they've been sitting around. Well, actually, the problem with this rear one wasn't up the end here. There's a bit of surface rust there. It was actually right down where the noodle was. It started to seize. So I'll take a little bit of water down these and uh, get stuffed. I could swap this onto the front, to be honest. Steel wool over that rusty bit. That'll be okay. Make sure we've got a pair of these um, adjusters. Don't really matter if you've got odd, and I still do the same job, but yeah, some people can be choosy. And besides, having odd ones gets, you know, having, oh, I really cannot talk tonight. Having odd ones annoys the hell out of me anyway. It annoys my OCD. <laughs> yeah. People on the autistic um, spectrum scale can... Um, they, we can be a little bit um, OCD at times. Yeah, I'm going to completely move all these around, I think. I think in reality that, sh that should be above the brake lever. I think something like that. Because there's your mark. There is actually no numbers on these shifters. So I actually had to count because I couldn't remember what I built this one as. So I had to click it and count the number of gears. It's got six. So 18 speed. That chain came off the blue Apollo as well. It's not a very good chain, but I hope it will do the job. It's just a bit rusty more than anything. A good oil and a nice... You know, ride around outside and that should free it up quite nicely. It's not real, there's no real stuck links on it, it's just a bit dry. Change the derailleur, because when it got nicked, I'm guessing it was dumped because... <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
a little bit on the twisted side. Now this is what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> you know, all in line, you know, not bent and twisted. And well, that one got caught in the wheel and actually ripped it off the frame. So I just found another screw and uh, picked the derailleur up from my box. And it didn't have the um, cable cl pinch clamp in there either, so I had to put one of those in. And they're a bastard to get in there. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes just to get the clamp back through that hole. So easy to get off, it's such a pain to get on. I don't know why I took them off in the first place. I must have nicked them for um, other drailers. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think I might feed the cables on for tonight. I could actually just rearrange these as well. Um, I'm just thinking, could sort the front, no I can't sort the front brake out because I'm going to put the bloody wheel on before I do that. Uh, I suppose I, yeah, I suppose I could uh, replace the brake cables, you know, and get the replacements threaded onto the frame and that gear cable. Mind you, it is 8.15, so I don't know. Maybe not. That wheel actually came out of my X-rated frame that I scrapped. Bearings were loose as hell, but I have tightened them up. It was just that the bearing cones had rattled loose for some reason. But then again, if you don't do your lock nut up properly, they will rattle loose. So that's done. i have just got to put the, um, like I said, swap the tires and tubes over. I think they are good because... They've held air for the past hour or more anyway, so I'm sort of looking forward to getting my giant done. Oh, I've got one more bike I want to put up. I have decided, as I'm keeping that one, the giant, and my grey um, Claude, which I need new forks for again because um, they went on me. I don't know when they went, but they've gotten soft as soon as I sit on the bike. The whole front forks just go <laughs> without even, you know, putting full weight on them. So the springs have sprung in those ones quite bad. I've tr they are the adjustable ones, but none of the adjusters or anything are working on them. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes open at the recycle centre for a bike I can nick said forks out of. <sighs> It's a shame I put those ones in that frame because uh, <laughs> they would have actually looked nice on my um, Claude, Claude the first. Oh well, never mind. It's still rideable. It's just got a very front, um, a very front soft end. A very soft front end, rather. I've got a serious speech problem tonight. A bit of a windy problem as well. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off, which I think I've only done sort of like 10 minute ish intervals today. Um, I might get up to something later, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I haven't done anything involving computers because there isn't a lot I can do with my brothers. He hasn't decided what he wants to do yet. I think he'd be better off letting me buy his 8 gig sticks, selling the 4 gig sticks, and then just buying a motherboard, processor and RAM kit, you know, all as one lot. Because there is people on eBay and whatnot that sell their old stuff once they've upgraded. So, anyway, I'll talk to you in a little while. Well, I haven't done a lot since I last had the camera on. Watched a couple of movies on Netflix, that's about it. Um, a bit of a clean out in one of my kitchen drawers because that was just full of crap. Uh, I really do need... 
to have a good clean out because I've actually accumulated all sorts of stuff. Pickles doesn't help. <laughs> I think a lot of stuff I've got in here came from him. It either came from him or my friend when he had a clean out. Uh, I mean, I've still got a couple of tubs of boxes to... Well, I know what's in them, it's just being asked to put them in to their rightful place. All the stuff that's in them, I mean. Um, as for the bike behind me there, I'm going to sort that out tomorrow. Looking at it, I can't see any evidence that the tires have gone down. And it's now quarter past ten at night, so... So far they've held air for, I don't know, three, four hours, something like that. So, that's good. You know, I didn't really want to swap the tubes over and the back tire over, only to find that the tubes were punctured, so... I figured I might as well pump them up on their current wheels and... Uh, leave uh, finishing it off till tomorrow. Um, I think rear brake might be a pain because I'm not sure I'm going to have a cable long enough in that uh, blue container just over there. Let's get my finger out of the way of the mic and the camera. Yeah, that tub's full of brake cables. Various lengths. Now I do like to keep short lengths of brake cable because um, with cantilever brakes you have your main brake cable that comes down from your lever and down to what they call up the bridge and then you have another piece of cable that goes between the cantilever brake and uh, I'm not sure if you can actually still get that piece of cable that goes between them but I just use an, an odd length of brake cable it still slots on, so it does the job. You just don't have the lever piece to um, release the brakes when you want to get the wheel off. Although, if the brakes are set up right, you don't really need that bit. You can um, work it out without it easy enough, so it's not that much of an issue, really. But, uh, yeah. And, of course... Uh, Re old rear brake cables that, are, that I couldn't reuse because the ends were frayed and if I cut them down they'd be too short I repurposed them as front brake cables because they're um, plenty long enough for that <clears throat> which is uh, the reason why I've never had to buy a brake cable for the front gears all the rear gears, um, front brake, because obviously that's the shortest distance for both to go. So I do the same thing with rear brake cables. If I'm changing the outers and I can't reuse the cable, or I'm stripping a bike down for parts and the cables are still good to reuse, if I have to cut the ends off because they're frayed and, and they're, that makes them too short to use, back, you know, as a rear cable. So I'll just repurpose them as front cables. Obviously if they're rusty and starting to snap where it's rusty then I don't keep those cables. <laughs> if you look at my pot, most of them are rust free. Actually, feeling a bit peckish. What's your problem, Puss Puss? You wouldn't have eaten what I got for dinner anyway. Well, actually, you might have. He ate beef burger from the fish and chip shop, so he may have eaten the sausage. Took the batter off the beef burger and gave him a bit, and he ate it. Right, so what do I need to do on this bike? Change the wheels. Uh, the front one will just end up on the scrap heap. 
Uh, it's a shame the tire's covered in paint because uh, it's got good tread on it. This rear tire's still got the little um, rubber ears, they call them, um, that are left on there when they're fresh out of the mould. And the more you use the tire, they all fall off eventually, but I've still got most of them on, so I don't think that Apollo bike was used a great deal. Or at least not with that back tire, because the front tire's got more wear on it than the back tire. Because I think I said earlier in the video, both wheels on this came out of that blue and silver Apollo suspension bike. Uh, yeah, if you look closely at this, you can see all the little uh, ears. So I wouldn't mind betting it was stood up not long after they fitted that back tire. Just got a little bit of paint on it, but that doesn't matter. It's on the tread that'll wear off. Uh, it is actually a full aluminium frame in silver. And the problem with that is it shows all the marks. <laughs> so, uh, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad, but when you get up close and personal, you can start seeing all the scuffs and marks. But it is a second hand bike, you know. It's not brand new. Yeah, that's still rock hard, that one. So is that one. That's alright then. That'll be the first thing I'll do. Thank you, shithead. See what I've got to put up with? <laughs> Good job I've got plenty of monitors, but I doubt that did it any damage. I don't know what the hell he was actually trying to do. Apart from get up there, and the first crash was the keyboards falling down the back. Down there. <laughs> it was a bit dark down there, you can't see him, but there is a pair of keyboards down there. And that was what the first crash was. Second crash, well, you saw what the second crash was. Oh, I know some people would have probably ran and jumped to grab the monitor, but uh, with this bike in the way, I'd have never got it in time anyway. That said, no harm done. I guarantee that monitor will still work. If it doesn't, just check it out and use one of the other ones. Yeah, so the first job, wheels. I can actually connect the gear cable up at the rear here, ready. Because uh, the cable's all in and installed on that drone, you know, it's just got to be bolted down. Um, yeah, if you look at my cables over here, I think that most of them are rust free or at the very worst, there'll be a very slight shading of surface rust on them. You can see it on some of them. Yeah, some of these at the top here might fit as a... Where is it? A gear cable on here. You go in that one. I'm actually very low on gear cables. Ah! Forgot these existed. <laughs> Got several of them. Again, I keep them because I'm not sure you can actually get them as spares now. Might be able to find them on the good old land of eBay. Someone might be selling them as a uh, new old stock, as they call it. Basically meaning it's old stock, but still new because it's still sealed in a pack. There might be someone on there. there. I do every now and again see people on there like clearing out old cycle shop stock. So, uh, but uh, they're in good condition, so that's why I kept them. But there's quite a few of them in there, so 
It's not a bad thing. <sighs> oh, I'm getting tired. <sighs> I think that crush scared Nemo because he's right off and hidden though. Uh, there's no point getting mad at him, it's not going to bloody do anything, is it? He'll have forgotten about it in bloody 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, nothing's been broken, so. Yeah. Nothing of any value would have got broken anyway. <laughs> the bloody computer doesn't work. Right. I'm going to turn the computer off. Well, I'm feeling peckish, but I might actually just say sod it and wait till breakfast. Or in my case, it's usually brunch. Well, not unless mum's ringing me up at 9.30 in the morning. Because um, she did me a um, sausage and onion pie, a homemade one. And there's the plate under there, that big white one. Right there. And uh, <laughs> she was going to do it for her and my little brother. My stepdad doesn't like it. Um, because mum only bakes them in short crust pastry. And he doesn't like short crust. He loves the puff pastry, you know, the flaky pastry. So do I, but I eat short crust as well. I'm not, I'm not a fussy eater, which um, seems to be rare for someone on the autistic spectrum, autism spectrum, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> brain gone. <clears throat> uh, so my brother didn't want any sausage and onion pie. So Mum had a slice, and that was about it. So I had the rest of it. So I sort of halved what was there, I had half for breakfast and half for lunch. <laughs> and she, it's only um, store-bought, ready-made pastry and um, sausage meat. And, uh, you know, she just halves the pastry, rolls it out, usually bakes it on um, using the plate. Actually, no, that's not the plate, that one, I don't think. Yep. No, it's not. Oops. <laughs> what have I done with Mummy's plate? Mummy's plate? Or am I? Bloody posh or something? <clears throat> but yeah, she'll lay the pastry out on an old dinner plate she uses. Put the sausage meat in. She would have already cooked the onions and spread those over the top. Roll the other half of the pastry out. Stick it on top. Put the hole in the middle so steam can escape and uh, put it in the oven for half an hour, 45 minutes or so. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know why, I love them to bits. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off because uh, nature's calling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Doesn't seem like I can eat pastries that much. I've got a large quantity. Seems like I can eat some things with lactose, but I can't overdo it because my body doesn't like it. So, anyway, I'm going to get this video edited and whatnot and uploaded to YouTube right after I finish this. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.